Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at Declarative Shadow DOM in the wild using Astro and Lit Elements. Now historically, using a web component in an environment like this is a bit of a no-no because there's no way to express a shadow root, which your web component will have, in static HTML. It's, it needs an imperative JavaScript call. Um, so this is where Declarative Shadow DOM can help us out and the integration between Astro and Lit uses that and overcomes this problem for us. So I'm just going to run through an example here showing um, showing the issue and then showing how Astro handles it for us. So this this web component is what we'll use. It's just putting this test this text up, declarative shadow DOM, and we've got a simple button on here that will show us whether JavaScript is enabled and that'll let us understand what's going on with the imperative declarative part. Um, okay, so let me just run this on its own without um, Astro at the moment. Uh, if we start this up and come in here, so there's that um, there's that text we we're talking about, and here's the JavaScript button. I click on that, and it shows that JavaScript is running. Now, if we come in here and disable JavaScript, so if I disable it now for this site, so when I click on this, nothing's happening. So JavaScript is definitely gone, and if I refresh the page. You'll notice we completely lose the element. Um, let me just let me just enable it again for a second. So let's have JavaScript back on, and it's working. And if we look at the component here, you can see my element. Um, it has been upgraded. It's got a shadow root, um, so everything is working there because we've called custom element define. Um, but then when we when we turn JavaScript off uh, and refresh it. The element, see, it doesn't get upgraded. There's no visual representation there. No shadow root is created. So that is the problem today without shadow, uh, without declarative shadow DOM. So let's see now how Astro handles this for us. Um, so if I if I um, if I do a, an npm create Astro, uh, this will take a couple of seconds just to install the dependencies. I'll speed this bit up though. Okay, we've got that created. Let's um, let's let's add the integration. So for Astro to work with Lit, you need to add uh, an integration. So let's do npx Astro add uh, Lit, and this will set up the whole um, declarative shadow DOM scenario for us. So I'll just say yes to that, and it will update the config in Astro to allow Lit to work as well. Uh, this, should just, this one should be a bit quicker. I'll say yes there. Okay, so let's look in Astro now. Um, what I'm gonna want to do is, if I, actually if I just look at the config, you can see we've got Lit integration in here. What I'm gonna wanna do is come into Pages and import my element. Um, I'm going to delete this guy, and if we go back to SSR Lit, we can shut that down, and we can do an npm link that will allow us to use this uh, this my element package. Um, do need to just quickly say that it's a TypeScript file actually. So it's TypeScript, and we'll link that. Now I can come into Astro and I can link to that component. So I can do an npm link SSR lit. And then on our page, I can now import 
my element and that's from SSR lint which will then mean down here I can simply do my element uh, I need to say client load for Astro to um, place this to, to hydrate this on the client um, and that is kind of all we need to do there I should be able to do an npm run dev now and then on port 3000 we've now got our you can see this the astro page here and we've put our component above here so we've got the same thing declared to shadow dom i can click on this and we get the javascript enabled now when i disable javascript in a just a standard environment uh, the component completely died so let's let's disable javascript again click on this button it's definitely disabled there's nothing coming up a refresh our component is still here um, because it's been statically generated on the server side essentially um, and then it's rehydrated on the client side um, so all of the functionality is added the, the JavaScript is added at that point um, if we look if we look um, at this here we can see our element and it's got the shadow root um, and so everything is working there as normal and so in terms of um, SEO you've now got your component physically physically there in the HTML so it's very good for H, uh, for SEO and good for the fact that it simply just works as well uh, so there you go uh, declare to shadow dom with astro and lit I uh, hope that was interesting give me a thumbs up if you liked it uh, thumbs down if not though uh, catch you next time though bye